Capturing inputs from a stylus or pen is mostly straightforward, aside from a few quirks. This video will cover some of the most common headaches. Check out the links in the description for more in-depth explanations and code snippets. I'm going to use an SVG element for both capturing input and displaying the paths. You can use a canvas element for easier image downloading, but I'm more comfortable with SVG. Using pointer events, we need pointer down, pointer move, and pointer up. Make sure to accurately convert coordinates to our SVG units. Keep this conversion up to date if the element is resized or moved. We can create a simple path by appending each point to our path. We do need to do the weird namespace thing when adding or editing SVG elements, but otherwise it is simple to convert an array of points into a path of line segments. I want the user to be able to set the color and width of the path, and also I'm going to add the option to add two paths so that there is a background that can be a different color. That's working pretty well, we can draw some colorful curves, but let's style the temporary path as we draw with the same settings. We'll add one more option, a button to delete poorly drawn curves. We will simply delete the last curve, but obviously you can go further with lots of editing abilities. To simplify the curves so that they are smaller and smoother, I'm going to use the simplify function from paper.js, link in the description. This library has lots of other goodies for dealing with curves. I'm going to set the precision to two decimal places and set the tolerance to a fairly small value of one. Higher tolerances result in smoother curves, while smaller tolerances more closely match the input endpoints. Let's make sure everything works for different sized elements. It's important that the aspect ratio of the view box matches the SVG element. I will also add an option to change the tolerance for different levels of smoothing. When the user's pen leaves the element, weird things can happen. If the user quickly returns the element, we want to continue the path. But if they lift their pen somewhere else, we need to track that. We need to prevent lots of default touch behavior. You can set these CSS properties normally if you wish, and some might be obsolete or redundant. For iOS, we need to prevent default on touch start. There are three types of pointers, mouse, pointer, and touch. I only want to accept mouse and stylus inputs, so I will ignore touch. If you want to accept touches, you can allow them. If the user is using a stylus, then ignoring touches helps prevent extraneous inputs. I want the path that is being drawn to be on top, so I'll use the before function instead of appending. The drawing experience is pretty good, so that's enough features for a solid foundation. There are lots of ways to customize and improve this application. Comment below with any improvements you make. If any of the code that flashed by was interesting to you, there are several links in the description. And go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe.